Yeah. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to Q&A Sunday. I know that we haven't had an episode in a few weeks. I was on a family vacation probably about a week ago, maybe two weeks. And the last week I just was super duper busy. Had a lot going on, so I wasn't able to drop it. What I'm gonna start doing is, I'm gonna start recording for Q&A Sundays from Thursday to Saturday nights. So I will be able to drop the episode for you guys and not be running so late. So I wanna thank everybody for showing up and we're gonna hop straight into the Q&A. Let's go. So the first question of this series comes from Keontae, I believe that's his name. Uh, he wants to know what I feel about Empire and can I add him on PS4? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send him a friend request right here. So uh, there goes your friend request. And Instagram is going crazy right now. And uh, what I feel about Empire, I think Empire is a pretty good show. I watch it uh, with my girl every time it comes on when I can't. If I'm at work, then we watch it like on our days off. Um, the album, we listen to it like all the time, especially when she's in the car. She takes over with that album like because everything on my phone she don't want to listen to. So... You know, we listen to Empire, we watch Empire. I like the show. I really want to see what Lucius is going to do to get out of uh, jail because if this dude can, like, get past death, he can pretty much get past anything. So, uh, yeah, that's how I feel about Empire. You want advice on this topic? I would have to say if you want to just take him out, take him out. If you want a relationship, I would have to say... Be the best person that you can. Be yourself from day one. You know, don't be somebody else and then completely change because if you do that, they're going to regret being with you, I guess. And you don't want somebody regretting the entire situation. But uh, if you're looking for a pretty girl, don't do it. Just look for somebody that, you know, you like their personality. You like being with them as well as, you know, you just like generally their company. By the way, try to become friends first. Don't just jump straight into can you be my girl? Kind of get a friendship going so, you know, if anything bad happens, any ill will, you guys can go back to being friends. But uh, that's all I got. If you're live streaming, I would definitely buy like a uh, professional USB mic such as a Snowball or a Nessie, something from like Blue Microphones. Once you do that, you want to plug that into your PlayStation. And if you get, eventually get a PS4, make sure you get the PS camera. Because if you're like into streaming and anything like that, you can use the PS4 audio from your mic go into your camera. But when you're recording, you can have it go through your uh, mic, your professional mic, which you purchased. And it comes out amazing. It's easy to record games and stuff like that straight from the system. And you'll have great audio, especially when you're streaming to Twitch. And and the best part about streaming to Twitch, if you want to be a YouTuber and all you have is your PlayStation, you can live stream on Twitch and you can go on a computer and go to old all your old broadcasts and chop them up and upload them to YouTube with your professional mic that you purchased. It's pretty dope and easy. And with the PlayStation 4 camera, that's your face cam. So if you want to get into face cams early in the game, but you don't got like a professional HD cam and all of that, that's it right there all in one one big bundle grab up all right you should already know what i'm gonna say if you are gonna get a next gen console you need to get a ps4 bro if you want to game with me you got to get a ps4 man ipod king carter tv and ipod king carter gamer tags man come on man get with me bro don't get an xbox one who wants an xbox one they're so heavy you can't put them everywhere they don't fit everywhere ps4 man come on stop playing uh this person wants to be all in my business um but the most that I've ever made from one particular video would have to be, I think, $1,500 for just that video alone. Out of all the ad performance that it made, I made about $1,500 for one video. Okay? It's cool with you. Cool. This is a pretty good question. Uh, this person wants to know if I ever do rewards or giveaways he's probably talking about for my subscribers. Now, when it comes to subscribers, I do have subscribers on Twitch and subscribers on YouTube. Now, what I'm going to be trying to do for the subscribers on the YouTube scale, I'm going to try to be giving away like an Elgato Gaming HD60, uh, Astro Gaming headset, a couple items from like Ben Q and a couple other my sponsors every other month. And for Twitch subscribers, I'm going to be doing the same thing over Twitch when I'm live streaming. So, but there will be a package for Twitch subscribers. Say a person subscribes to my Twitch, they get a wristband. Um, and if they stay subscribed for the second month, 
I send them something different. Subscribe for three months, probably gonna send them something like a t-shirt or something like that, a keychain. Anything with like, you know, my logos, you know, showing you, you guys that all the loyalty, loyalty that you show me is being rewarded. So I'm gonna be starting something like that up real soon, probably on the spark of the summer, probably in June or July, I'll be starting that. But yeah, man, I do do giveaways. I do giveaways via Twitter. Make sure you follow me. I do giveaways over YouTube. I do giveaways over Twitch. Make sure you follow me there as well. So, you know, I do I do, do a, lot, a lot of giveaways. You might want to show up. Yeah. All right. This person just got real personal. Yeah. Um, you want to know how long I've been bald, bro? Yeah. I've been bald probably about, I would say, four to five years now. Now, uh, you know, I like being bald, man. You know, I get to cut my hair on my own i don't gotta pay 20 to 30 dollars for a haircut i do it all on my own man i'm, I'm cool like that <laughs> well uh let's go over them um we have a bible verse here we have another bible verse here we have a cross and an empty bible here we have let me see if i can show you guys this i am what i am tattoo we have a forever which goes with family so forever family on my uh, forearms we have Galatians 6.17 Bible verse we also have a Superman symbol and then we have a quote from a Spider-Man movie but I put it in for this drink I have a, a Coach Carter verse um, that uh, I think his name is like Tito Ortiz I think he said this joint uh, then I have Coach Carter embedded here then what else do we have um, nothing on this arm then we have on this arm I have my I don't know if you guys can see that my uh, daughter, uh, not daughter, my son and my girlfriend's name, uh, her name, his name, inside of this little star thingy that we got going on, and that's it for now, nothing else, nothing on my back, nothing like that, but uh, yeah, I got a bunch of tattoos, oh yeah, by the way, uh, everybody know about the D. Carter joint, you know what I'm saying, yeah, I think that's, I think that's it, yeah, <laughs> I first was introduced to baseball then i was introduced to football then basketball i played baseball up until the age of about like i would say 12 to 14 i played football for three seasons it was hard to keep weight and i played basketball for i would say from the age of like 11 to like 16. once i got to uh Strathaven high school and i tried out for their basketball team Every time I would go out for their team, my grades would suffer, so my dad kept pulling me out. Um, I played with American Christian, uh, the school that Tyreek Evans went to in high school. I played with them for a season that I was there. I was there for ninth grade. Then middle school, I played uh, sometimes with the Panthers. Not too much. Pulaski team was it was terrible. Like everybody, it was it was just a bad situation, man, from the inner city. And uh, baseball. Psh, I played for Chester for so many years. Like I played T-ball all the way up until like uh, the 13, 14 age. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty dope. I, it just, you know, my childhood was a blur, man. Real rat. I did so much stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, in uh, football, I think I was a, uh, I was a linebacker. I was a defensive lineman, and on offense, I think I was the tight end. I, think I was a tight end i was i was a big kid yo i was short and i was stubby and i was big like i didn't get a growth spurt until ninth grade i went from like five eight to like six foot so yeah that was my growth spurt that's why i started playing basketball a lot more that's all. so this person want to know who i got between floyd mayweather and manny pacquiao you want to know who i got bro hold up let me put my phone down so this is what I got right here, man. First of all, we got Floyd with the answer, all, all this, all this. Uh, uh, that's defense. Then you know we got Manny with the all these, all these lefts, all these, all these straight lefts, all these. This is all he got, all his head movement, all his stepping back, stepping back, stepping back. All this, all this, all this. But all in all, I got Floyd, man. You know he, he give you give you that shoulder roll. Then he give you that crazy M C D. Then he got the straight right down the pipe. <sighs> I'm just saying, Floyd Mayweather makes these boxers look silly. Every person that Manny Pacquiao has fought, that Floyd has fought, he made it look easy because he's an offensive fighter. But 
what happens when a person with great defense goes up against a person with great offense? Don't they say defense wins championships? Yeah, I know that's a basketball term, but ain't Floyd undefeated? I'm just saying. Hey, I can see this is uh, my name's Matt, and I'm a big fan of your channel. And um, I was just wondering, um, what do you expect most of NBA 2K16? What do you want to improve the most? Thanks. Make more videos, please. Well, I'm going to have to go with we need to change the way the microtransactions run the game. It seems like everybody gets this game and after they spend a couple dollars, they feel like they're entitled to get something out of the game when in fact they took the gamble to spend their money. So how about we just dial it back a little on everybody spending their money every time a game comes out? How about you play a mode where you don't need to spend money to get better? How about we everybody just go back to playing quick online rank matches? How about we play some 2K9 for a little bit? Second thing I want from this game is definitely a better NBA realistic storyline for my career and my GM. For my career, we need that draft combine. We need the summer leagues, all that jazz. Hi, bye, green card. I want to ask you another question. That can you uh, make a dribbling tutorial or like how to be like good at okay, 15? I'm terrible, but I want to be really good at this game. So yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, you want to be better at NBA 2K15, but it's not all about dribbling. You have to learn timing for shots, timing for rebounds. You have to know a sense when the passing lanes are open to get the steals. Know when to try to pickpocket the ball from defenders. It's, it's a lot that you got to learn about the game. Generally, if I were you, I would watch the computer play like a full simulation game and see what type of openings they have. And then I want you to go in and play that same game and try out some of those same moves. Now, as for dribbling in itself, crossovers, in and outs and behind the backs are like the thing that everybody uses. You you in and out, you step back and behind the back and you know you basically get the defender on their toes because all of the drop down auto defense. So if you want to be good at the game, go one way, go behind the back or cut back, step back and then behind the back and go the other way, full speed and guarantee you'll lose your defender. Then for the shot, the dunker, the layup, that's up to you on what you want to do. Yo, Lapa, how you doing? I got a since I'm an Eagles fan as well. I got a question for you. How do you, how do you think the Eagles will do next season? Do you think they'll get Mariota? Yo, see you later. The funny thing about that is, as an Eagles fan, I just want my team to get a Super Bowl. That's all I really want. I don't really care about how good they do in the season. It's always about the playoffs for me. Yeah, of course, you want to see the team go undefeated. You want to see them break records that never, have never been broken before or tie for broken records. But all in all, I just want a Super Bowl. If they get Mariota, they get Mariota. Cool. But I just seen that they sign, they're they about to sign Tim Tebow for a one-year contract. And I think that they're doing that as a blanket just in case they don't get Mariota. So, you know... I hope they get them. It would be a nice addition to our roster because we've made so many changes in the offseason. I just want to see us do good this season. I don't want to see one of those seasons where it's trial and error. I want to see us go to the playoffs and go far. Yo, what's up, Alpac King Carter? Yo, I got one more question. Why are you going to play like FIFA, soccer, hockey? Play different games. Like Call of Duty like that. Why are you going to play FIFA? Thanks. Oh, thanks, man. Like the video. Keep going up. Thanks. Okay, so uh, this guy wants me to play other games, other sports games as well, especially FIFA. He even mentioned Call of Duty. I did hear that. Well, to let you know, the reason why I don't play FIFA is because I'm ass at the game. But other games I do play. I do play Call of Duty, but I'm more of a Battlefield fan. 
that's why I play more than Battlefield. Now, for Battlefield, I'm probably like a level 40 or 50, so that goes to show that I do play the game. Uh, as for other sports titles, I play UFC. When it comes to Madden, Madden was ass this year to me. I tried my best with Madden. I tried to play the career series, didn't like it. And for Mutt, I don't like spending all of my money on certain things. I got other things going on. I got two kids. I don't have time spending my money all day on packs and stuff like that. And then having to say, well, what am I going to put in my kid's mouth tonight? That doesn't work for me. Now, other sports games as well, like, uh, let's see, live and other things like that. If the game doesn't intrigue me, I really don't play it. What I play now mostly is GTA battlefield in 2k i just recently got mortal kombat mortal kombat is pretty good but it doesn't seem like it's going to be one of those games that has longevity with me because of the online presence it's not like oh you can keep playing the story mode over or they have another mode that you can go through no it's just online for me after playing the storyline so it's not going to have that much longevity with me um the next game that i'm basically waiting on I think is Rainbow Six. That's, that's, I'm probably going to try to give that a little trial run. I need to start playing more of the story mode with the shooters, though. I do notice that. Like, I need to hop and dive into those shooter storylines so I can actually have more fun with the game than just hopping online with the homies. Hey, I got one question. How do you, um, record your videos? Like, how do you do that? Do you get them on YouTube? Because usually I um, record mine by PlayStation and it doesn't work. Half the time. So, yeah, can you please answer that for me on one of your YouTube videos or just contact me later? Thank you. I record my videos with this little bad boy right here. It's called an Elgato Gaming HD60. Uh, here's the logo right here, um, Elgato Gaming. What you can do is you can go inside the description actually and click the link that says. Uh, get an Elgato Gaming HD60 here. If I were you and you got this, I would not plug this into my computer and try to play on my computer screen because you're going to be like two to three seconds delayed on screen on your computer, especially if your computer is of an older version and it's going to be a terrible moment for you. So make sure you keep, keep your system plugged up to your TV, but you're going to use this as a splitter. It's a great device. Everything, the storage, this is not a storage device, by the way it does not store on here it stores on your computer's hard drive this is just a device to split and record with a program of your games and stuff so if you want to become a youtuber somebody on twitch you know a broadcast or anything like that usually elgato hd60s are the start of something bigger all right everybody i want to thank you guys for showing up to the q a sunday this week man it was strenuous we had a lot of great questions I want to know in the comment section who do you guys have manny pacquiao or floyd mayweather let me know below by the way if you enjoyed the video like the video this is your boy ikc signing out if you're new to my channel make sure you punch on that subscribe button man peace king carter king carter king carter i pop king carter king carter